Okay, hey there. It's your MC operator here. Um, just gonna come at you with a <laughs> a video that uh, just kind of down and dirty. Um, something that uh, I've been trying to sort of get on my channel for a while, but um, <laughs> every time I try to record it, I just get so deep with the uh, history of this firearm that uh, I get away from just enjoying the firearm. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do sort of a down and dirty on. Uh, my Beretta, actually it's my Beretta, because I've kind of done quite a bit to um, sort of operator it. <laughs> so it is definitely my MC operator Beretta 92A1. So um, let's give you guys a good look here at it. Okay, so as you can see, um, definitely have um, Add a few things on there. I've added a Holosun 507C. Um, also have added um, the uh, TRL High Lumen, which was a High Lumen at the time. Um, so it has 800 lumens. Um, aftermarket grips. Put on some uh, Wilson Combat um, Dirty Olive. I think it's beautiful. Um, and we'll just go ahead and lock it back. Make sure we show clear, so we're definitely, you know, they say firearm. Um, this firearm is truly um, one of my absolute favorites, uh, and it's definitely uh, one of my bedside guns um, options. But um, before um, recent history, um, there was really no way to add a red dot to uh, your Berettas. Um, there was just not enough real estate on the top. So we'll start with that. Um, although, Langdon Tactical, uh, in all his brilliance, has found a way to change all that. So he basically re-engineered all the internals so that um, Basically, you can have not only a, a red dot, but actually one of the lowest setting red dots uh, that the firearm industry can, can offer. Um, he's really done an amazing job, and um, there are different ways around uh, acquiring uh, the LTT upgraded internals. You can send in your uh, purchased Beretta um, and have him just redo the whole internals or you can obviously if you're not in California you can go to his website and order uh, right off the uh, website and he has three various sizes that you can order um, with all types of different um, things that are available uh, you can have just a trigger job you can have the uh, beveling so that it's you know really carry worthy um, again, like I said, there's three sizes. You have the full size, uh, you have uh, the Centurion, and then also the um, Compact. Um, so uh, all of them are beautiful. Um, all of them are um, decocker only, uh, which is nice. So you don't have to deal with the decocker safety and uh, be afraid that once you uh, wreck the slide, accidentally engaging the safety when you don't want it uh, to be activated. Um, there's all kinds of benefits to uh, what Langdon Tactical has done. Um, but let's just talk about some things that I like about uh, the Beretta. First of all, it's one of the most iconic firearms uh, in the industry. Um, so every other movie, um, whether it be the villain or the hero, uh, has the Beretta as its sidearm. It's just, uh, it served our military for decades, uh, which just recently it was trumped by the uh, Sig Sauer uh, 320, um, which a lot of people still feel was not the best move for the military, but you know, obviously government's gonna do what the government's gonna do. But uh, this firearm is truly amazing. And again, before uh, Ernest Langdon, you know, worked his magic, the only option to have a red dot, which is 
imperative for me with my deteriorating eyesight. Um, I went with uh, what you would call a Picatinny uh, dovetail mount. Um, I purchased it from a company called Sight Mart. Um, and then I had it drilled and tapped by a gunsmith. Um, so it gives you the Picatinny rail across the top of your slide so that you can pretty much just attach it uh, via the uh, Picatinny mount that is uh, in, offered along with your 507C. And I actually like the 507C um, Picatinny mount. It's really discreet. It doesn't have a lot of things bulging from the side. So it still gives you kind of a streamline, streamlined look even though it is you know, gonna be high off the bore, um, higher than most people like it, even higher off, higher than I like it. Um, but again, with it being the only option as far as uh, well, at the time to have a red dot mounted, um, I went ahead and went with that uh, option and I'm really quite happy with it until Link the Tactical came out with his, uh, <laughs> his magic. But anyway, um, but the fact that uh, it is a pretty hefty gun. Um, so it's gonna be o over 30 ounces, um, but it's a great um, dense weight. So it really helps mitigate uh, the, what recall there you know, might be. But this firearm is engineered uh, so that the recoil is really minimal uh, anyway. Uh, but um, it has, um, this, the slide m moves like it's on ball bearings. I mean, it's just, you can see how, it's almost like a high tune 1911. Um, I changed the trigger as well because I have a short reach. I have small hands. So I changed that. Let's see if we can get a, a good picture of that. So, again, this is in single action and then just a nice little creep to the wall and then a nice break um the reset is short and tactile and just a little bit of take up and it breaks again um and even the double action and you'll see we'll put in double action but it engages the safety so you'll want to make sure that you disengage that safety and I move mine to the half cock position. So that's how I keep it at rest um, when I have it ready for duty is in the half, half cock position. And then you'll see you're almost immediately at the wall. So there's no take up and then it's a very smooth, let's give you this visual here. A very, very smooth trigger pull um, it's just it's kind of interesting you know because a lot of people will talk about um, you know oh I want a small firearm because I want to be able to control you know the, the recoil actually the larger the firearm the better the recoil you know management really uh, and so when I take students out you know I make sure that this is one of the firearms that I bring just so I can let them see um, the difference between uh, subcompact, a compact, and then this being more of a full-size firearm. And they're amazed at how uh, just gentle um, firing this firearm it really is. It's so, it just, just so smooth and it's, <laughs> the, the feeling is just almost like it's just a, again, a well-oiled machine. Um, and so I, I love my Beretta. Um, I would love to uh, somehow and someday acquire the uh, compact from uh, Langdon Tactical, um, which is somewhat a, a feat being that I'm from California. Um, and so it is not on our roster. Um, and I could, and I someday might send this firearm uh, slide in to have uh, Langdon do his um, work his magic um, you know at the moment you know I'm quite happy with the way things turned out you know it's still you know with the light and 
you know, with the hollow sun, you know, it still bounces really well, even though the hollow sun is sitting on the rail and is pretty high off the board, it's still a tack driver. Um, and it doesn't feel um, lopsided at all. So it's still absolutely one of my favorites. It's a beautiful gun. Um, again, with the s slim grips that I required from uh, uh, Wilson Combat, um, it's very, very nice. Oh, sorry about the phone call there. Okay, so back after a brief phone ring interruption, <laughs> let's see if we can wrap this puppy up. Um, so with, uh, not sure where I left off other than the fact that uh, I love this pistol. Um, it is absolutely one of my favorites. I wish I could carry it, but it's just a little too bit of a hog for me to, and I'm sure you know, that might change if I were to, you know, to get a really good holster and, but it's just, um, all day, it's just too big. It's just too big, but it's great when I'm uh, working the range or running drills out on the range as well. Um, again, absolute tech driver with a, the installation of my favorite uh, RDO, the Holosun 507C the circle dot uh, and of course circle or dot option those three um just quite the go-to firearm in certain situations um and and again like i said you know you can shoot this all day with very very uh minimal uh hand pain or frustration um it's just such a soft shooting firearm you can do it all day so, until I find a way to uh, acquire my Langdon Tactical uh, LTT Beretta, uh, this uh, will be the MC Operator version of that. And I will love it until adding the LTT to the stable. <laughs> so anyway, I thank you guys for uh, your time and uh, stop by my channel. Um, obviously, you know, you guys know what to do to help me out. Like and subscribe would be awesome. Um, but other than that, I hope you're safe. Um, I know 2020 um, was a bit of a bear for all of us. Um, so for those of you who made it through healthy, um, congratulations. For those who did suffer, I hope you are on the mend. Um, and I hope. 2021 brings us all uh, prosperity and good health and uh, just an appreciation for life. Um, so with that being said, uh, it's your MC Operator signing out. Have a great day. Take care now.